Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara with the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a solid deodorant stick without using baking soda. Baking soda is one of those ingredients that's found in most natural deodorants and some people with sensitive skin cannot handle baking soda. It can leave rashes and cause skin irritations and so I've gotten lots of requests for a deodorant without baking soda. I have shared a bake a deodorant spray that does not have baking soda in it and it has magnesium oil in there. But I've been kind of messing around and working on a recipe that would work in the deodorant stick with um, that still is so it's easy to apply but doesn't have baking soda in there. So I came up with a recipe that I think works great and I am going to show you how to make it today. And like I always say, if you're already making DIY products and lotions and creams and face washes and things at home, you probably already have all this stuff. You're going to need a coconut oil, beeswax, mango butter, that's kind of the base of the recipe. And then we're using air root powder instead of that baking soda to really help pull away moisture. And then I have some vitamin E oil and also some essential oils to scent your deodorant. So to get started, we're gonna be using a double boiler and I'm just gonna turn this on high heat and I'm going to add in the beeswax, mango butter, and coconut oil. I just have two tablespoons of each, so obviously it is equal parts, so if you wanna make more than one stick, or you know you wanna make this in bulk, you can just um, adjust the recipe accordingly, but equal parts of the coconut oil, beeswax, and mango butter. So I'm just gonna pour all of these into my double boiler. And I'm just going to allow these ingredients to melt. And then once they melt, we will remove it from the heat, add in the other ingredients, and then pour it into our little deodorant container here. I actually got these on Amazon. I got a pack of six of them, very inexpensive. And I have found these to work really well. You can actually reuse these if you want to clean it out and reuse them. I typically, because they are very inexpensive, I just toss it when I'm done and just use a new one. Now, if you don't have a deodorant container, like this and you prefer to use a mason jar or just anything with an airtight container that's totally fine this just makes it easier to apply because it's just like normal deodorant it roll, go, comes up you can roll it up to make it come up and just apply it like normal okay so now that all the ingredients are melted together I just removed the bowl from the heat and I've let it cool slightly just because I want it to be not boiling hot when I add in these next ingredients we are going to add in one tablespoon of air root powder. And then I'm just going to add in five drops of vitamin E oil. Now the vitamin E oil is optional, but vitamin E oil is great for your skin. It also is high in antioxidants, which helps to preserve the deodorant a little bit longer. So I like to add that in for those extra benefits. So I'm just doing five drops of that. And then I'm adding in some essential oils. So the oils that you add in really depend on the scent that you want and who you're making this for. Um, if I'm making this for my husband, some of his favorite scents for his homemade products are sandalwood, cedarwood, and lemongrass. We use that in his beard oil and also in his aftershave. He kind of likes those that blend together and it has a manly smell to it. If I'm making this for myself, I will do more floral oils. I really like lavender in mine, uh, jasmine, and then you can do a citrus blend with wild orange and lemon. So it's really up to you. I do about 30 drops of essential oil because I want to be able to smell the scent of the deodorant and I do a blend of oil so I'm gonna do lavender rosemary and lemon because that's a really fresh scent lemon and rosemary are really good at covering up odor so perfect combo for your deodorant so I'm doing about I did 10 drops of the lemon and lavender and about five drops of the rosemary and then I'm just going to stir this all up until everything is well combined. If 
That is a really good combo. It smells so good. So that lemon, lavender, and rosemary, if you're looking for a good combination, it is super good. I love it. Okay, so I'm now just going to pour it into my deodorant container here. And this amount will fill it right to the top. So that's the perfect amount if you're making one um, container of deodorant. Like I said, if you want to double or triple it, if you're making multiple at a time, you can do that. So now I'm just going to let it sit and become solid. Let it harden up with that beeswax, coconut oil, and mango butter in there. It will get into a solid form. That extra beeswax helps it to hold its shape even if it's a little bit hotter in your house. With my other deodorant recipe, I don't use beeswax and I suggest storing it in the refrigerator. Now, if you live in a very hot climate or your house is pretty hot in the summertime or warmer months, you might wanna store it in the refrigerator, it's up to you. Um, this one in my house is okay leaving it out, whereas the other one without the beeswax, I will keep it in the refrigerator. Now, if you're going to be traveling and you're in a hot car, then I would suggest putting it in that mason jar with the lid because these ingredients, if they are too hot, they will melt. So. But like I said, it is gonna hold its shape pretty well with that beeswax in there. I have a homemade label for this deodorant down in the description box below if you want to slap a little label on there, remind you what's in there so it's easy to remake. And then also, if you guys are new to my channel, be sure while you're getting the link for the label that you check out all of my different eBooks and essential oil class and resources down in the description box. I also have everything linked that I used here linked down in the description box so you know exactly where where to get everything from. If you are new to my channel, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and I share lots of different healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by our early house.